afternoon uh, to all of you. Um, let me discuss to you our, our lesson for week three. We have a free space loss model. Okay. So last time I mentioned to you that uh, we have some loss occurring in between the, our antennas, transmitter and receiver. This is because of the spreading out of our spreading out of the signal. So dahil nag-spread out yung signal as you transmit it, nagkakaroon tayo ng free space loss. Okay? I hope that is clear. Okay. Free space loss. So ideal model to determine amount of power loss between transmitter and receiver. So um, we have this formula for uh Output and input power, so P in all over P out ratio is equal to 4 pi D squared all over G1, G2, uh, lambda squared. So this assumes that no obstacles and it is operating in vacuum and perfect antennas. So when we say uh, free space loss, uh, it means that we assume na walang haharang dun sa uh, gitna ng transmitter and receiver natin. So it is the most simple model that we can use and uh, compute. Because there are other models like the Okamura Hata, which, which is applied in urban or suburban. So hindi na to free space kasi meron, meron na mga harang-harang dito and it's a little bit complicated. Also the longly rise for TV broadcast and log distance for indoors. Okay. So what we will be discussing for today is about uh, free space loss, so no obstacles. In free space loss, uh, we have the we have the we have the variables of gain. So the g g one and g two. So g one for transmitter and g two for the receiver. So relationship between effective area of antenna and its gain. So when we compute for the gain, we use the formula 4 pi effective area all over lambda squared. So yung effective area natin, AE, and yung lambda would be the wavelength, where, uh, where lambda is the signal carrier wavelength. Effective area is related to the physical size, but differs among antenna designs. Uh, example, a parabolic antenna may have effective area of 0.5 times the physical area. So most of the problems we'll be solving for our um, exams would be uh, about parabolic antenna. Yung mga regular antenna lang nakikita natin sa mga roofings ng mga buildings. So if you're familiar with that. So yung effective area nun would be 0.5 times the physical area. Kung parabolic yun, so that would be just a circle. So a circle has a area of uh, pi r squared. So the effective area would be 0.5 pi r squared. So we will be using that later. Okay. So let us move uh, another slide. So we have a sample problem here. Um, we have two parabolic antennas with radius of 0.5 meters, operating frequency of 5 gigahertz and transmit power of 1 watt and distance between the two antenna is 1 kilometer. So these are the parameters we'll be using to compute for the following. So let us find the effective area, solve for the wavelength, solve for the antenna gain 1 and 2, and solve for the output finally. Okay. So for this problem, I already prepared the solution. So let us just... Uh, just showing you how to use the formula we are given earlier. Okay, so for the effective area for letter A, so we have the 0.5 pi r squared because it is a parabolic antenna only. So one half pi 0.5 as the radius squared. So if we compute this using a calculator, we'll be getting a pi over 8. So I hope that makes sense to you. And for letter B, the wavelength. Our wavelength has the formula or C, C over F. C stands for the speed of light. So that is a three times 10 raised to eight meters per second all over F, which is the frequency, the operating frequency. So in our problem, we are given the operating frequency of five 
gigahertz. Okay, when we say giga, it stands for a billion. So we will be using 5 times 10 raised to 9 because it's a billion hertz. So if we will be entering this in our in our calculator, so 3 times 10 raised to 8, so all over 5 times 10 raised to 9, then we'll be getting wavelength of 3 over 50 meters. So our wavelength has the unit of meters because it's a length. Okay. So le for letter C, we'll be computing for the antenna gain, gain 1 and gain 2. So our antennas are have similar, have similar uh, radius. So just um, their radius is 0.5 meter. So the formula for antenna gain is a 4 pi effective area uh, lambda squared. So for the effective area, we already got that. So that's pi over 8, just substitute. And for the wavelength, we have a 3 over 50 squared. So if we will be entering this in our calculator, we'll be getting a 1370.78. Let us remember that our gain has no units because it is a ratio. Okay. And for letter D, so um, we'll be solving for the output power. So we have our formula for free space loss, ratio of P in all over P out. So P in over P out is equal to uh, 4 pi D quantity squared, G1, G2, lambda squared. So if we want to solve for P out, we will just uh, cross multiply and derive P out from the formula. So if we do that, we will be getting P out is equal to P in, gain one, gain two, lambda squared, uh, all over four pi D quantity squared. So for our, uh, for our input power, we are given one watt here. And uh, for our gain one and gain two, we have this, uh, 1370.78 the same and for our lambda or wavelength we have 3 over 50 then squared all over 4 pi times is 1000 meters for the distance between the two antennas so if we will be uh, entering this in our calculator um, we will be getting 4.28 time is 10 raised to negative 5 watts, or if we will convert it into milliwatts, so just move the decimal point to the left. So 0 0.0428 milliwatts. Most of the time, our power is um, in terms of milliwatt. So let us uh, try to get the milliwatts units, okay? So I hope that makes sense to you and it is clear. Okay, so for our exercise problem, let us solve this similar problem. I just uh, I just gave a uh, different different given, but we'll be using the same formulas. Two parabolic antennas with a radius five meter, an operating frequency of seven one two megahertz, and transmit power of three hundred milliwatts, and the distance between is eight hundred meter so let us find effective area wavelength gain and output power okay so these are the given so let us first find the effective area so 1.5 r squared so our our radius is five meters so uh one point hold on okay so can you see my calculator online calculator I hope you see it. So let us enter the formula. So um, that is a one half, one half times pi r squared times pi times our radius is, our radius is a five meters. So that is a five then squared. Okay, so. Therefore, our effective area is 39.2699. Okay, so we have our effective area. Then let us solve for the wavelength. Our wavelength has the formula of C over F. C stands for the speed of light. 
Okay, then our operating frequency is a 712 megahertz. When we say mega, the scale is 1 million. So that's uh, then uh, C. That is a 3 times 10 raised to 8. Okay, that is C. And for our for our operating frequency, that is uh, 712. 71, uh, sorry. 712 times 10 megahertz means raised to 6 because it's a million. Okay. So our wavelength is a 0 0.4213 meters. Okay. So that's it. Then for letter C, uh, antenna gain, gain 1 and gain 2. So our two antenna are both parabolic with 5 meters in radius so we we just use a uh, four pi effective area then uh, lambda squared so that is a four pi four pi four pi ae our ae is 39 isn't it 39 point something i will just copy this one times this one all over lambda squared our lambda is this one then we just copy this one and uh, put a squared then therefore our our gain one and gain two is 2779.63 all right that's it okay and now let us solve for p out so our p out has the formula p in gain one gain two lambda squared all over four pi d quantity squared okay so p out. so for our p out we have our p in which is uh p in this one um 300 milliwatt so when we say milliwatt that's um 300 times 10 raised to negative 3. So uh, do not forget the negative 3 because it's in milliwatt. Multiplied by gain 1, gain 2, our gain is 2779, this one. Then multiplied by the same gain, then uh, lambda squared. Our lambda squared is like is this, isn't it? So we just copy that. All over 4 pi d squared. 4 pi times d. Our d, our distance is 800 meters. 800. Then quantity squared. Okay. So therefore, our... Um, Output power is a 0 0.004071. So we just copy that one. And if we convert this to milliwatt, so we will just move the decimal point to the right. So 4.07 milliwatt. Okay, I hope uh, that is uh, clear to you.